so this is the first view through the new camera. I'm up here with Matt. And uh, he's got the circuit, right? Circuit. Circuit pack, weighing about 30, 40. 38. Mine was about 50, but I gave my Malone to him. <laughs> <laughs> so mine's probably at about uh, 45 now. But a uh, smaller camera bag, brand new, thanks to you guys. Uh, the only thing I like, camera lens, lens cover, and the shade for the thing. Other than that, it's just padding and really light, and it's just gonna go on my sternum pack. Um, my mic, my batteries, my everything else is in here. I have another case coming that'll go inside, but it hasn't come yet. So this will be eliminated. ULA circuit and we are at Devil's Gulch and this is Martin's car. We're gonna catch up with Martin and Mike. The two was closed, so we had to take what? Big Tahunga? Tahunga. Tahunga, we had to take Tahunga all the way down, drop down, come around the long way, and come back up. So there are very few people up here. One car has passed us. <laughs> Look at Matt's hat. I go, is it comfortable? He said nope. Styling though. <laughs> but he looks like Raiden. <laughs> we are deep down in Devil's Gulch off of the two, and there is water flowing. We can hear it off to the distance, off to my left. But uh, just saw a light back here. I believe that would belong to uh, Martin and Mike. We saw Martin's car up there. We parked next to it. Does it look like it goes up or that way? Uh, I think it goes up. There's I don't know. Like, I can see footprints that way. It is a very well kept trail until you get to the bottom. Then you, you gotta stop and take a chance, take a minute and look around to see <laughs> what it picks up again. There he is. <laughs> I know, we made it, man. You are the second and third human beings uh, this lens is recording. <laughs> How long have you guys been down here? Maybe an hour, hour and a half. How'd you like the detour? Oh yeah. It was, it was the pretty detour, right? Is that that was I remember I was like, dude, it was, this it's pretty neat. Yeah. We saw some houses way in the middle of nowhere. Uh, what's that? It's a, it's a Net for the Sorry. what Gatewood Cape, I Gatewood think, right? Cape, and Big Agnes, and I'm gonna set up my uh, Six Moons Design Haven, just a tent. And it's just the net. I'll be setting that up somewhere here. Are you Are you We're going to grilly put. This is a beef shish kebab, chicken shish kebab. And behind that is the. Uh, let me show you. Behind that is some water with some rice. Directly on the coals. That's good, huh? Bell pepper, onion, red, green bell pepper, purple onion, regular onion, beef chicken. Got him a steam brothers. Check that out, dude. Yeah! You want some? You be horny? I'm kind of stuffed. Mm, delicious. Twenty minutes. Oh 
Oh man, taste that beef. A smaller piece. That's all one piece? I don't want that much. You want him? You want more? Let me have an onion. Get yeah, bell pepper too. Bell pepper? This is the inside of the Six Moons Design Haven bug net. Four inches of rain uh, bathtub floor. Tonight, let's get my backpack, my schmog, that's my pillow. Uh, this uh, five eighths, almost, no, three eighths. Three eighths uh, black. Pad. It's about 20 inches across, maybe 24 by about 48 inches long. And then I got the tucked under my feet, so it it makes a bath tub, it makes a foot box, and I just tuck those under. You do that when you're sleeping outside on the ground with no net, nothing. You uh. Put about a foot of it, maybe 16 inches of it. Whatever extra you do have, once this is pulled up to your chest, under, bring it up. So you stand with your feet, and then you just tuck it in, yeah. tuck it in. Keeps you warm. Keeps majority of the bugs and ticks out. And uh, my chair is out there with some, with my hat and a few things. My sh uh, sandals, my boots, my cameras and camera supplies and stuff. And uh, there's a river down here. Listen. There's a river down there. We'll go check it out in the morning. It's lights out now. It's so great. Pillow. I forgot to hang the eggs, so the eggs slept with me. Mm, I'm gonna make a couple right now. It is hot already. It's a satellite right there. There's some that's bacon, that's truck, yeah. some sausage and oh, eggs, yeah. and uh, this Hungry Jack. It's a frozen lemonade. Cooking with the survival challenge kit. Using the use of Trangia. I'm make my coffee in that one. What are you making, Martin? Uh, making bacon and sausage with potatoes and onions. Sausage! Sausage! And Matt made oatmeal. Mike had Czech cereal. Chick cereal. What kind of breakfast is that? Coffee. Exactly. <laughs> no, I didn't, have, I didn't have breakfast yet. I'm making homemade biscuits Martin, and gravy. Martin's flying his uh, colors. Straight up. C colors. 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 <laughs> <laughs> They're really cool little gopher snake. Maybe garter? So small, the markings aren't really clear. Look at that. I'm gonna go over and show the guys and then I'm gonna come back down and put him right back where he was, right there. That is neat. Check it out. And did you reserve like this month in advance? No, just like Oh, hi cutie. Oh he's a little red tongue. Wow. He's cruising through the river. <laughs> Check him out, Matt. It's cool. That little guy. Are you swimming? Yeah. It's going after polywogs. There's a lot of them down there. Neat, huh? 
you making, Martin? Uh, bread. This is uh, their Camacho. Thank you for telling me about this. With the flat ass cat? Yes, sir. With the Esbit. I'm gonna put him back in there. There's a lot of polywogs down there. I think that's what he's going yeah. after. Don't drop him. Watch, put him in there, watch how he swims. He's, he's, pretty, he's pretty cool just holding it. Yeah. Go, snake, go. It's neat how they swim. Dude, you got good eyes. I never would have saw that. Yeah, he was right there. And it's all dehydrated onions, it's been cooking in the oil, a little bit of butter, salt and pepper. And I forgot the lemon. We're sitting here, sitting with our chairs in the river. Yeah. <laughs> Eating uh, sour gummy. Sour gummy beer. Here, Matt. <laughs> Matt came straight through the bush. There he is. Did you bring your chair? Oh, you didn't have a chair. You don't need it. You can sit right on the rock here. We're down there in uh, <laughs> Devil's uh, Devil's Day Spa, <laughs> kicking back in the water, and Matt disappears for a while. I just found him. Let's see. Uh, let's see. He's right along here somewhere. Should be right up by the tree somewhere. Okay. Well, he's up there. Let's see. There he is, right by that tree. Let's see. Here he comes. Charles Manson, man. <laughs> <laughs> Gonna go back and get my shoes. Cool he looks. Look at him. Oh, look at that. He's been eating polywogs. Watch this. Pretty neat. And five more minutes comes, Robert. <laughs> Beautiful camera. First time I went the new camera. Oh, the G50. Beautiful. That's 4K ready. Yeah. Beautiful. Pretty nice. Very nice slow mo. Great camera. And zoom. Here, give me, give me a slow mo. It's become a um, like tradition now. Malone. <laughs> I brought one. Thought I'd be the only one, but no. Martin brought one too. He's been sitting in the river with the polywogs and the snakes all day. Some Cub Scouts came by and they tried to bag it, but...
Jennifer, save the day. Okay, get away from there, you kids. <laughs> Look at that. That was delicious. Yeah. That's some tasty oh, Malone. It's really good. <laughs> 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 I'm right on your face, dude. Close up, close up when you munched it. <laughs> Good stuff, huh? Jennifer's enjoying the Malone. Look at her. She's doing the, the Malone dance. <laughs> Mustache. <laughs> Robert comes down here and he del he's delivering. There's a red lighter over here. Grab it. He's delivering what is it called? Lumpia, right? Lumpia. Yeah. Chili sauce or sweet and sour sauce? Yeah. Sweet chili sauce. Everything was so Thank good. you. Welcome. Look at that. Slow down. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Grab my up and he starts feeding us. Come on, Bill. Well, sweetest mallet. One more minutes, man. I'm glad you're here, brother. Thank you. Thanks. Got my cigar. You want me to? All hail Grace Gall! All hail. Me? Me? Yeah. Look at this. This is how many people are here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven or twelve of us now, I believe. Look at these lights right here. Pretty neat. Charged all day. Matt's bed. Matt's hat. Raiden hat. Check out Jennifer's birthday gift. The Vargo Titanium Folding Barbecue Grill. It's beautiful. Okay. Happy birthday, Jen. Yay, thank you. Oh, look. It's crawling over to get your... That's a big one. What is it? Spider. Can I use it to warm my tortillas? Of course. Can you bring your tortillas Robert, what are you making, Robert? I'm cooking now the uh, Mexican rice. And then I'm going to have a... White cod. And tomatoes and onions. With real oh, garlic. Yeah. Lemon zest. Lemon, tomato, parsley, garlic and salt. And crushed red pepper. I got some, I got some uh, veggies right now. Gray school, yeah. flying. So yeah. that's when you do juicy cooking out here. Look at Robert's veggies. Mm. I'm gonna fry this first. And then we're gonna make the, the sauce separate with the tomato, cherry tomato, <laughs> parsley. This is freaking and, uh, amazing. There's another Vargo going. Oh. Another Vargo barbecue. You the, uh, well, you made no barbecue. Yeah. Spinach stuffed salmon. And drop the lemon. Lemon juice. What is it? Spinach and, uh, stuffed uh, salmon. Just right on. Uh -huh. and then What'd you guys make? Carne asada. Carne asada. Who's marinated? <laughs> got some cabbage, got some cheddar cheese, some tortillas. Water? Made it on the pan. Yeah, we got some more. Grill What's stove? Here, buddy. This is Snow oh. Peak stove. Yeah. I have that same stove. <laughs> I think I saw that on one of your um, did my light, videos. Did my video did a light go on? Want some cheddar? And uh, Martin's got this. What's this thing called, Martin? Thermosil. 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 That one's, we, we have two. That one's oh, running two of them. Martin's yeah, over there. We're running double. So we got a double. Running double. double. Well, double. Triple protection. Jen's, Jen's yeah. got one of those. Back here, it's already Those, uh, down. It's a little bit loud. Oh, it's gone now. The uh, party punks, the uh, little cigar type punks for mosquitoes. And then look at Jen and Steve are up here. They got the Haven, same tent I have. You guys found a nice spot. With this vintage lamp. Look at that. Oh, yeah, and he hasn't lit it yet. Oh, and you made that Becky maybe? A pink grand, gray, uh, Camp Grey School for the and, women folk. <laughs> and, and it glows in the dark. Does it? Let's yeah. see. <laughs> oh, yeah, look wow. at that. Cool. <laughs> glows in the dark. <laughs> <laughs> that is a neat one. Matt finally collected his gray skull patch from the founding members. They're not made for the new members, they're just the founding members. He used to, when I first started watching his videos, he would like, he would get a fire and he'd get like a- What'd you make, Matt? Like a two pound piece of meat, like a steak or something. Oh, that's the meat? And you just like throw it in there, throw it on the fire. And they eat it that way. Right on, looks good, huh? 
I mean, you gotta dig all that coal off and stuff. Make sure you get some tomato. Yeah, if I'm pumping a steak up, two pound steak, you know, I'm not gonna throw it in fire. I'm not gonna get the way it should be. That is good. General, uh, like that, for sure. And back and on Jen's <laughs> barbecue, she made the veggie burger. And I made some veggies too, but then I got more veggies from Matt. <laughs> right on. Because I already ate all of them. What tent did you bring, Robert? White cod. Oh, the same? Okay. Uh, they are on the uh, REI Court of Doom. Go fly. Go, go, go. I'm going over there right now. REI Court of Doom, Costco quilt, uh, Nemo pad, pillow, and Hyperlite backpack. And Bill's got this custom one made by Bear Pod Design. It can hold two people, it's big enough to hold two people. Pretty comfortably. Semi waterproof, believe it or not. This, more so than this, but this is made thick enough that the water will hit and just boom and semi waterproof. No vestibule, but with two, enough for room, two people, you can bring your stuff right inside. It's a nice camp, Devil's Canyon. I will look up what camp this is in Robinson's book and put the number in the details. It might even be going across the screen right now as we speak. I think it's three and a half miles from the road down here. You have to watch the trail because you'll be going. It's like, where does it go? It looks like it goes that way, but look around. There's usually a clearer way. Cheese, sour great. cream. And beans, cheese, hash brown, sour cream, and some Del Inferno. Del Inferno sauce. Yeah. And then uh, over here we got, look at this, we got cod, Mexican rice, lemon, and the century egg. Century egg. Yeah. You want to try? No, thank you, sir. Thank you. Try the fish. Thank you. Oh. I'm all done. Some mashed potatoes. What Those do we have yours. with some steak? You have with steak? Yeah, I'm already done. I ate. Yeah. All right. Look at this. This is a combination of everybody's meal. Everybody had the same thing. It yeah. looks beautiful. <laughs> yeah, potato soup. Cooked around the fire. Ma Martin made homemade bread. Wow. Uh, Robert made his cod. What's in the cod, Robert? Cod and um, I fried the cod and make a special sauce. With tomatoes, lemon. Garlic, parsley. White uh, wine vinegar, lemon zest, lemon juice, garlic salt. It is delicious. Yeah. Uh, baked beans. Yeah. Uh, there's some Spanish rice that he made. It's New York strip steak. Mashed potatoes. <laughs> Good luck in finishing this one. <laughs> Where's the frosting? Look at, the frosting Martin's got out? a whole roll. <laughs> yeah, I got a whole separate roll right now. I on there. The, uh, once. We brought having cream cheese frosting. How'd you do that? I didn't know how to do that. Did you watch a video? Do what? And just put it, put them on the stick like that. Still flying. <laughs> it's a nice camp. These rocks, these big rocks, they're set up, they're perfect north, south, east, and west. And we didn't do it. It was only when we got here. <laughs> <sighs> North, south, east, east, west. West, south, north, east. So I live southeast. Boom. Right through them trees there. Look at it a little closer. <laughs> you see the likeness of you? Check it out. There's an effigy of you there. 
See the acorn? Oh, <laughs> it looks just like the hat. <laughs> 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 Backpacking fairy came by everyone <laughs> last night when you were sleeping. <laughs> Sausage and eggs. Oatmeal and apples. <laughs> this this camp here, Mike put on. Camp so we're out of here. Even nothing but nothing but pure jewel. Right? Nothing but Matt. <laughs> Le leaving Matt on the trail. <laughs> Look at all the rattlers on him. Yeah, off. Must be a female. I don't need no stinking stick. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure you chuck them off the trail. Oh, that was Devil's Gulch, Devil's Canyon. Hard getting out, huh, Mike? Yeah, it was. Especially in the heat. Hiking the heat. There's some guys going down. Maybe you think you're cool. Maybe they, you think you're making a fashion statement, but they're going down in hoodies, zipped up with the hood. Uh, the only statement you're making is to be straightforward. You're an idiot. You're looking for heat stroke. The only fashion statement you're making is you're an idiot. Heck, back in my days, you'd get the crap beat out of you for doing something so stupid as that. Uh, Matt and Mike, uh, Matt and uh, Robert are, are ahead of us. Oh, yes, they were ahead of us, so they're already up here, up here somewhere. All the rest are behind us. It, that trail is all uphill coming out. All these cars are with me. Right on, guys. Yeah. Made it. Good one, huh? Yeah. You see that guy going down in the sweater? I know, right? Oh, <laughs> I saw those uh, like four of them, like the, the first uh, group. I, I don't think they have enough water. No, I don't think so. And he had a hoodie he zipped up. Yeah, in the summertime. Oh, the two they guys, don't know what the they're doing. Yeah. yeah. They were. They were. They're. They're. We can hear about a rescue out of here today if they oh, continue they're down. Already way down there too. You got an idea of how hot them. it was? Look at this. Look at this. You could sh look at that. I gotta turn around. <laughs> oh, it, is, it was hot. And you have that pack that has the gap in between. Yeah. Mine's directly on me. But I like it. It's a nice pack. Lucky you have an extra shirt. I haven't been to this one in years. I haven't shown it in years. 
and uh, I never do tell where to turn off in the directions. Uh, you'll have to just Google Earth it, and there are ways to find it very easy. It's very, very easy to find. Not so easy to get to, look. Straight down, straight up. But when you do, whoa, almost fell backwards. When you do, uh, the Bell Hartman mine. Cabin still exists, the engines, everything's still there, the mine's still there, everything. It's really cool. So since these guys do double canyons with me, I, I, I'm gonna show them. Although Robert's been here before, but the rest of them weren't feeling up to it. Mike said, I'm in. So I'm taking Mike and Matt. Robert found here by using Google Earth and Maps. I, on the other hand, was shown by Missy from Missy Adventures. She's a beautiful woman that used to do videos in the San Gabriel. So I don't know what became of her. I know she still does Instagram, but wherever you are, Missy, you should get back to making your videos. We all enjoyed them. Which way do you go, this way or this way? People always get upset and uh, call me names and degrade my channel and stuff because I don't give uh, directions to places. Well, here's one of the reasons I don't. The stove's gone. The newspaper's gone. Some of the bottles are gone. Some of the tools are gone stove that was here all those years. People respected it all those years. And uh, some low life took it. It wasn't worth anything. I mean, it was thrashed. Better off it was here than somebody's garage in a box. And they left trash too. What do you need though, huh Mike? What is that, a pump or a generator or something? Pretty neat. Four -cylinder pump for There's a couple eight cylinder motors down the hill. I'll put a link to a previous video down in the details where you can see this thing about four or five years ago maybe. Maybe a little longer, I don't know. Maybe three or four years ago uh, where the stove was still here. Back to me. And a few other things and you can see how how it was up there, there's really not anything up there. Except uh, Robert and <laughs> Matt, is here. Matt up there. But in my other video, I go up there and explore everything. And Missy gives the dates and the names. This is the Bill Hartman mine, by the way. So got this out here. This is looking out the window. You can give me your camera out. Uh, the mine is down. Like you gotta go down here. this way and it's around that corner. You can miss it easily and end up way down there. But uh, it might be over that. But um, this is the view they had. That's still around that uh, that company, isn't it? Ingersoll Rand? I believe so, yeah. In, in my company where I work, they have uh, one of those. Really? Alright, here comes that. So up there's the structure. As you can see through the trees, down below, uh, we came in from over that hill. Down below are the engines and all, all kinds of other all kinds of other cool things. Check out my other video and you'll see them. There's debris all up and down. Somebody threw that stove over. I doubt they carried it out. But here's the mine. The mine is only 30 feet away from the, if you find the shack, 30 feet, follow the trail down, boom, 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 boom. And it's tucked in. You can walk right past it. You can walk right past it. I have, if you're not careful. There's a tunnel that goes up, you can go about another mile and a half. How are you gonna get out? But it's too tight. <laughs> this wouldn't be a bad place to camp. It's nice and cool in here. We're overnight? Yeah. We're moving out. I'm gonna do it one day. Right here, look. But where are you coming from? The same the same thing? Yeah. The same uh, parking? Yeah. Right here. Right. Down the road from where we're parked, if you keep going, 
the road gets really sketchy, but there's a there's a private uh, observatory. Look at this. Some ore. So we were down there. We went down this way. It's easy to lose the trail here. Very rarely you'll come up the same one. We came up this. But there's the... Uh, right over there. Is the uh, mine. There's debris spread out all over here over the years. Let's see, here they come. And uh, look at this flat spot. Where is it? Oh, up there. Well, that might be the road. It, it, yeah, I think maybe that's the road. I'm not sure. It might be. Yeah, I think that is the road. Never mind. There's five more minutes. Robert! And those two palm trees represent my truck. Represent, because you know it makes sense. It's not. Hey, what'd you, what'd you think of that mine, dude? Sick. It's cool, huh? Worth the time? Yeah, sure. Take the water. Easy. I didn't go, I was too, I whipped out. Something what'd you think, Mike? Right oh, it's right fucking there. badass. The fucking <laughs> hike was badass, too. <laughs> You've been there before. Third time. Uh, I lost a dollar, I didn't find it. Yeah, they time. they stole the camp stove. Somebody stole it. Whether well, they mm -hmm. brought it out or they trashed it, I don't know. But it's gone, and a few of the tools and the newspaper.